Turn around. Yeah, nice. You can see your friends. So what's going on guys today i'm making homemade guima pizzas um, i'm showing you here how to make a tomato sauce for the pizza i've got some uh, passata that's uh, already got onion and garlic in so i don't need to put that in some salt pepper a tablespoon of sugar some tomato pesto which is here you can get that from anywhere oregano and basil a tablespoon or two tablespoons of each and i'm going to mix that in what you want to do is you want to mix that in and then bring it to a boil and then let it simmer and then it'll you'll get that sweetness and that same flavor as a pizza base sauce so i'm going to leave that and let it simmer for about half an hour so today guys i'm going to show you how to make the pizza dough so i've got one and a half cups of uh, self-raising flour what i'm going to do is add some sugar Add some salt and some yeast. What you want to do is give the dry ingredients a nice mix. So I'm going to add a little bit of oil. Give this a nice mix again. And then slightly above room temperature, some water. Add it gradually. So add it bit by bit. Hold it together. This way saves you messing your hands up and stuff. And you'll start seeing it coming together. Once it comes together as a ball, flour the surface and give you a knead for about five minutes. So I've floured the surface and I'm gonna need this for about five minutes. You wanna activate the gluten in the dough. That's what gives it the stretchiness and the taste. So five minutes consecutively like this. So that's the dough ready. I've greased the bowl with some oil and I'm going to cover it with uh, a dry cloth and keep it from, away from ventilated area and let it prove for about half an hour to an hour at least. So right now that's the pizza sauce ready. I brought it to the boil, taken all the water and the water is reduced. So let that cool down and then thicken as it cools down so that'll be the pizza sauce for the pizza so that's the pizza i've shaped it into like a long kind of rectangle shape i've added the sauce pricked it with the fork so it doesn't uh, rise you can make it feel on your flat or you can do any kind of crust you want oil the bottom of the tray my sauce was hot so You've got to let your sauce cool down. Um, I did the minced cheese, oregano, and that's going to go in the oven 250 for about eight minutes.
So for meal number two, I am making some tandoori uh, salmon and uh, some roasted potatoes and asparagus. The tandoori salmon is simple. I marinated the salmon in some yogurt, some garam masala, cumin, salt, pepper, chili powder and tandoori spice. Uh, let that set for a couple of hours and then pan fried it in both sides for about 6-7 minutes to side. Uh, same with the potatoes, uh, 45 minutes and then I did the same with the asparagus. Once the, the fish is crisp from one side, skin side down, then I flipped it over did about 5 minutes on the other side. Asparagus takes about 5 minutes, uh, no more than 5-7 seven min uh, seven minutes roughly. So the third meal was sirloin steak with some sweet potato wedges and mushroom uh, sautéed and peppercorn sauce with, with a little bit of asparagus. The sirloin was easy, 4-5 minutes uh, if you want a medium rare, either side later rest for 4 more minutes and then serve up, simple as that, the spice wedges, um, salt, pepper, paprika, 45 minutes and uh, that's it, that's how simple it is. So the fourth meal I made with whatever's left in the fridge or freezer within uh, within the week was uh, the tandoori chicken drumsticks. This was simple marinade. It's my favourite one. Uh, two uh, tablespoons of yogurt, salt, pepper, cumin, garam masala, turmeric, uh, squeeze of lime, vinegar, uh, coriander powder, and um, a little bit of paprika and chili powder. Uh, mix that together. Mix the drumsticks in there and let it cook for 180 degrees for about one hour to one and a half. The slower you cook it, the more you roast the skin because these are skin on drumsticks. So you don't want to burn the skin and then keep the um, chicken inside too dry. So I did it slowly, about an hour and a half, 180 degrees. Keep turning it, keep basting it like you can see and then it'll be ready perfect. Let's give this a try guys, it's going to be really hot. I mean. That's delicious. That'll probably be any restaurant takeaway drumstick. It's tender. It's got nice skin to it, nice flavor, spicy feel, uh, spice flavor. It's got that vinegar, vinegar kick to it with all the spices, the lime juice, and the chopped masala at the end. Just kind of enhances it. Definitely worth a try.